Alright guys, welcome sa ating bagong video and today we'll be talking why sub for sub is very bad sa your channel. If you're planning to grow your channel sa YouTube, don't do sub for sub because it's very bad. Aside from this, uh, I will be discussing ano yung kailangan mong gawin. So I'll be giving you 5 tips on anong gagawin mo to gain subscribers and watch times instead of uh, doing sub for sub. And as a bonus, if you stay at the end of this video, I'll be giving you a bonus tip. This bonus tip will help you grow your channel passively. So, hindi sabihin, uh, automatic, wala ka lang gagawin ang YouTube ang magre-recommend ng iyong video. So, if you're ready, let's start. Okay, if you are new here and you want to learn more about online freelancing and other ways to make income online, just subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon para ma-notify ka sa mga bagong tips about freelancing. Okay, so lately I have been I'm been joining this uh, Facebook groups about uh, YouTubers and uh, vloggers. So, um, and 90% or 80, sabi natin, 90 to 80% of them are asking for sub or sub or yung VLCS, yung view, like, uh, comment, and sub. Okay, both of them Although may ay, may nakikita akong uh, sa BLCS may may konting pakinabang no pero at at the long run it's still bad kasi ang goal, ang goal talaga ng YouTube is for you to have active subscribers so mamaya i-discuss natin yung active subscribers and um why sub for sub will not help you get achieve that goal okay so um shout out muna sa mga admin ng YouTube vlogger ph so kay jm feriol john melton morada kay rea daus kay ingrid fay jerome dolarte okay so uh kasi they invited me to be an admin of the group and right now it's i think it's almost 11,000 members na yung uh, group na yun. so if you want to visit their channels i'll be putting uh, them on the description okay okay so why sub for sub is bad direct on down bakit Okay, so, but masama because YouTube will not recommend your channel and videos because in, of inactive subscribers. Pag sinabi kasing inactive subscribers, these are subscribers na hindi naman nanonood ng video mo. Okay? So, pag active kasi yan, pag nag-upload ka, panonoorin yung video mo, yung bago mo video. Or, if not, uh, panonoorin nila yung ibang videos mo. Uh, pag hindi sila nanonood, or one, one time lang sila nanood ng video mo and then on the succeeding days hindi naman sila nanonood uh, they are uh, considered to be inactive subscribers so just to give you an idea on uh, what um, how YouTube recommends uh, your videos for example this is uh, Robert Roberto Blake this is one of my favorite uh, vloggers so he's a graphic designer and he is um creative entrepreneur he also does um, youtube videos and i am subscribed and i have a uh, notification bell so every time na mag uh, mag uh, upload siya na ng youtube bagong video napapanood ko okay so on this side ito yung mga videos na sinasuggest ng YouTube. YouTube mismo ang nagsasuggest nito. Na siguro sa algorithm ng YouTube uh, hinuhulaan niya na itong mga video na to uh, probably gusto mo rin. Okay? So kung titignan mo maigi dito may ibang video dito na uh, recommended for you. Ayan. Recommended for you. And all of these other videos ni Roberto Blake. Roberto Blake. Okay, so ang YouTube ang ang nagbibigay niyan of all the millions or thousands of uh, videos uploaded. Ito lang ino malabas sa iyo kasi ni-recommend ng video yan na na ni-recommend ng YouTube yan na uh, they think na magugustuhan mo rin. Okay? So kapag hindi ka ni-recommend ng pag yung video mo hindi ni-recommend ng YouTube walang ibang makakapanood niyan kundi ikaw at saka yung pinag-sharean mo ng link 
Okay, just to give you another example kung how powerful how powerful ang ma-recommend ka ng YouTube. Okay, this is a bagong channel na na inano ko na I'm managing. So, um you can visit this also. I'll put in, I'll be putting the link below. So, this is very new channel no? very new channel um it started some it started exactly at september 1 so from august 0 yan pero september 1 dun nag start yung mga views and then right now it's only september 26 and ang peak watch time ko is 9069 Okay, so saan ang galing yun? Ah, bagong channel na to, limang videos pa lang to. And right now, eh, ang latest activity kung tignan natin yung last 60 hours. So, with, for the last hours, uh, 58 ang nanonood. And right now, meron pa rin nanonood. Okay. So, dahil yan dito. So, tignan natin tong video na to. So, ito, hindi, hindi ko na siya pinopromote. Ang YouTube na ang nagpapromote nito. Right now, merong 28. <coughs> so, imagine, 28 ang nanonood. Nang hindi ko, hindi ko pinopromote. Ang YouTube ang nag, ang um, popromote niya. Kung titignan natin dito, ang traffic sources niya, na browser features, suggested video so yung suggested din niya nasa gilid youtube search so pag nag search sila lalabas tong video na to so basically lahat ng functions na to is youtube ang nag nag uh, bibigay kung titignan natin ngayon dito impressions impressions kasi yun yung uh, time na lalabas yung thumbnail ng video mo okay so right now 254,000 raw yung impressions ko and 86% 86.4% of that ang YouTube ang nagre-recommend. Okay? So ganun ka ganun kalakas ang recommendation ng YouTube. Okay? So ang goal natin dito is um, hindi mo kailangan i-promote yung yung video mo personally. Ang ang goal natin is let youtube promote your videos okay, okay. and one of uh, uh, one of the criteria uh, for that is uh, kailangan meron ka active subscribers okay so tignan natin ulit tignan natin ulit dito okay 86% from youtube uh, recommending content Kung babasahin natin dito, you can increase your chance of YouTube suggesting your content by increasing your click-through rate and watch time video. So, dalawa lang ang tinitignan ng YouTube dyan. Pag ang video mo, um, mataas ang click-through rate, um, may dis dis discuss natin yung click-through rate, and yung watch time. So, ang watch time kasi is kung gaano katagal pinapanood yung video mo. For example, ito yung watch time. Uh, kung ang, ang, um, Kung ang video mo is 7 minutes, uh, uh, gano'ng katagal ang pinapanood niya? Kung ilang percent, ilang percent ang pinapanood sa video mo? And right now, uh, 40%, almost 50% na mga nanonood ng videos ko is tinatapos yung video. Okay, gano'n na. So, pag inactive yung subscribers mo, these are subscribers na hindi talaga nanonood ng video mo. Okay, so another thing na bakit uh, sama it's bad for sub or sub is um YouTube removes inactive subscribers. So nagtatanggal talaga siya ng ng subscribers. So pag nagtataka kayo bakit nabawasan ang subscribers niyo, most likely tinanggal siya ng YouTube. So ito yung article galing mismo sa YouTube, no? YouTube help. Um, subscriber counts 
kung titignan natin dito removing spammy subscribers so regularly nag verify ng youtube ang legitimacy ng account okay so hindi nadedetect ni youtube kung yung subscribers mo is legit okay no kung active ba sila kung nanonood talaga sila or talagang nagsubscribe sila dahil gusto nyo yung content mo okay so pag once na detect ng youtube yan na ano lang peke yung subscriber tatanggalin yan okay so hindi makalusot man niya sa ibang uh, panahon later on tatanggalin yan okay so huwag kayong magtaka kung nabawasan yung subscribers nyo um, dahil yan sa uh, sub for sub nyo okay okay youtube constantly appraise low quality videos will be penalized so palagi yung nag update ang youtube actually yung requirements sa uh, watch time and subscribers na no, 4000 watch time hours at uh, 1000 subscri subscribers bago lang yan actually siguro 2016 or 2017 lang yan lumabas kasi dati pagkagawa man channel po naman agad i-monetize pero ngayon hindi agad hindi agad siya nagmamonetize okay so low quality videos pag ang video mo is low quality it will be penalized so ibig sabihin hindi niya i-recommend yung video mo pag yung video mo low quality walang nanonood not worth watching hindi siya uh, i-recommend so hindi natin alam kung ano pa yung idadagdag ng youtube sa kanyang policies or sa uh, system niya pero most likely pag ang video mo is not worth watching most likely it will be weeded out tatanggalin siya hindi ka hindi ka niya ipopot kasi ang gusto ng YouTube is maging quality quality uh, website siya ang gusto niya puntuhan siya dahil, dahil magaganda yung videos doon okay another bad thing about uh, sub for sub is it's an act of selfishness okay kung aamin lang tayo ano? aamin lang tayo nakikipag sub for sub ka lang naman para mapanood yung video mo okay so um let's be honest if uh, you nakipag sub for sub ka sa 100 na tao yung 100 na tao ba yung pinapanood mo yung video mo pinapanood mo yung video nila or nakipag sub for sub ka dahil na expect mo na panoorin ng 100 na tao yung video mo pero in return, hindi ka naman nanonood ng videos ng 100 na tao na, kipag, na nakipag sub for sub ka. So, it's really an act, act of selfishness. <laughs> And, because of that, you will not be encouraged to create good content na ang pinaka-goal ng YouTube. Let's face it, ang YouTube is not our website and they have their own policies. Ang goal nila is maka-create ng good content. So, kung hindi ka sumusunod sa policy na yun, Uh, but kanila but kanila recommend you are using their website pero hindi ka sumusunod sa policy nila so suspend ka pa nila kung hindi ka uh, susunod and that is uh, their right nasa karapatan nila yun dahil sa kanila yun kung ayaw mo nang ganun gumawa ka sa sarili mong website okay so okay having this said uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo and uh, ano naman yung gagawin natin First is create a content you are passionate about. So, pag sinabi ng passionate, ito yung talagang gusto ng gusto mo. So, kung kumuha ka ng video about dito sa topic na yon, may mano od o wala ang gagawin mo parehong okay. So, kahit mahirap ang kaso paggawa ng video, gagawin mo parehong kasi passionate kiy, lab na lab mo yon, gusto ng gusto mo gawin yon. Okay, so create kay eye catching thumbnails and titles because of CTR or yung CTR or yung click through rate again balik tayo dito sa ating analytics okay so dalawa lang ang criteria kasi ng again ang 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 um, goal kasi natin is uh, make YouTube recommend our videos and dalawa lang ang criteria ng YouTube una, yung click-through rate tumaas and yung watch time also yung watch time is uh, kung ilan, kung gano'n katagal ba binapanood yung video mo 
for if uh, for example if your video is is 7 minutes ilang minutes yung pinapanood ng mga tao so dalawa lang kasi yung criteria ng YouTube pa, para i-recommend ka one is uh, click through rate and uh, yung watch time yung watch time na kung ilan kung gaano katagal ba yung pinapanood sa video mo okay so ang ang um, click through rate kasi ang click through rate is every time na lumabas yung thumbnail mo dito ang ang relation ang click through rate kasi is ang relation ng kung ilan ang ilang beses kiniklik yung video mo kung ilang beses tumalabas yung video mo sa suggested videos at kung ilan beses piniklik yun so yun ang ratio nun Okay, so right now ang um, click to read is six percent. Actually, ang six percent is mataas na. So ang target na click to read mo is uh, half of all channel and videos on YouTube are have an impression CTR that can reach two to ten. Okay. So, y kahit yung mga malalaking YouTubers, 2 to 10% lang yung click-through rate niya. So, yung 6%, medyo mataas yan. So, ang click-through rate, again, pag im impression, lumabas yung, yung, yung thumbnail mo. Yung click-through rate, kung ilang percent may nag-click sa impression na yun, or ilang, ilang, ilang percent nag-click dun sa thumbnail mo. That's why you have to create eye-catching thumbnails. Okay? And, um, Next is engage and listen to your audience no matter how small kahit isa, dalawa, tatlo, lima, sampu kahit gano'ng kaligit yung, um, yung, yung subscribers mo makinig ka sa gusto nila and ibigay mo yung gusto nila kasi um, mas mahalaga yung nanonood sa'yo kaysa yung nakasubscribe again, pag inactive yung subscribers mo wala siyang maitutulong sa iyo actually it will it will penalize YouTube will penalize you because of inac inactive subscribers pag hindi nanonood ng video mo yung mga subscribers mo uh, later on natanggalin niya ng YouTube hindi mo siya makikita sa subscribe, subscriber list mo yung mga videos mo walang manonood yan kundi ikaw at saka kung sino ang pinagsharean mo walang pupuntahan yung channel mo kasi walang nanonood eh hindi ka nire-recommend ng YouTube okay so yan uh, listen to your audience kahit gano'ng kaliit kahit basta may nanonood okay Kasi, pag nakita ng YouTube na yung yung, yung video mo is very uh, helpful, pinapanood talaga. Later on, kahit isa lang yung video mo, i-recommend ka ng YouTube. Okay, ask them to sub if and only if they liked your video. So, kailangan talaga uh, you ask your viewers to, to sub. Kasi pag hindi mo siya sina sinabihan na mag-subscribe, hindi sila mag-subscribe. Manonood lang sila. Pero, you ask them kung, kung gusto lang nila naman na mag-subscribe. Diba? You give them the benefit uh, of subscription na pag nag-subscribe kayo, may makakuha pa kayong mga videos na ganito. Na pwedeng may entertain kayo or meron kayong mga tips or meron kayong makukuha mga information pag nag-subscribe kayo. So, you ask them kung gusto lang naman nila if not okay lang at least napanood nila diba and be consistent the more videos you have the more chances of winning <laughs> parang rapo lang na. again balik tayo dito sa 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 example natin again si Roberto Blake nakasubscribe ako sa kanya yan yung notification bell kung titignan natin dito ang mga suggested videos ang again ang youtube ang lag ayos nito no Bilangin natin yung videos niya. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, 20, 20 videos niya na sa suggested 
videos. So, pagkatapos ko manood ng uh, video niya na isa, so pagkatapos ko manood ng uh, video na to, most likely dito ako pupunta. Or pupunta ako sa ibang website, pupunta ako sa Facebook, etc. Pero kung gusto ko na lang mag mag-browse lang dito, pupunta, di ba? And dahil madami siya nandito, 20 20 videos. Dahil, dahil madaming videos ang nandito, most likely, ang makiklik ko is video niya. Okay, so, the, uh, it will add again sa kanyang views. Okay? So, mas madami kang video, mas madami kang suggested video. So, these are five things na madami pang, madami pang, ano, madami pang uh, paraan sa madaming sa YouTube, madaming mga creators na nag- uh, nagtuturo and ito uh, merong merong kasing merong kasing YouTube Creators Academy search nyo lang YouTube Creators Academy meron dito mga courses no? libre naman tayo dapat uh, pinag-aaralan nyo to uh, nandito na lahat get started get discovered uh, make money uh, uh, create 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 content brand deals etc lahat ng kailangan mong malaman para makagawa ng good at great content tinuturo na ng YouTube so bakit gagawin mo pa yung hindi recommended ng YouTube eto na tinuturo ng YouTube lahat na kailangan mo ba't mo pa gagawin yung hindi actually against nga ng policy ng YouTube yung sub per sub okay so I hope pa uh, ah uh, natutunan nyo yan and I hope nakatulong to sa inyo and thank you nga pala medyo mahaba na tong video na to dahil uh, and as I promise no kasi um pinanood nyo to video to hanggang dito uh, meron akong bigay sa inyo na bonus no? so itong bonus na to ito, tal eh, ito yung nangyari sa aking youtube channel okay this is one tip na pag na master mo you will uh, grow your channel passively so hindi mo kailangan <laughs> makipag GC ka pa or i-promote mo um, yung video mo personally group chat or sa, sa ipapost mo agad sa groups okay so ano ba yung bonus na yan? do your research and follow the trend eto napaka napaka powerful nito yung trend <clears throat> So, babalik lang ulit ako dito sa uh, sa ating sa aking sample or sa aking case study. Again, this is a very new, this is a very new uh, channel. Nag-start lang siya September 1 at ang peak niya is uh, uh, 9,000 watch time. So, pag na master nyo tong pag na master nyo yung research kung ano yung trending uh, you can do more kasi kung titignan yung top videos na to um lima lang yung video actually lima lang yung video na to pero ang pinakamataas dyan is tong isa yung trendy chocolate dream cake and 65,000 bakit? kasi this is a trending topic and right now from 2 2 o'clock to 2.47 48 na ang nanood consistently, hindi ako nagpapromote yan kundi ang YouTube bakit? kasi this is a trending topic and 411 subscribers no, walang sub per sub dyan, ang katunayan this is, ito yung homepage kung titignan mo yung subscriptions, wala wala akong wala ako na yung sub dyan okay this is uh, organic at ang youtube ang nag recommend yan simply because trending yung topic na yan okay so uh, maraming paraan no uh, para makahanap ka ng trending topic example dyan dito or sa community nyo mismo maraming paraan para makahanap ng uh, uh, trending so again you just do your research hindi ko na to elaborate simple lang basta pag magkaroon ng trend sundan nyo lang dahil 
doon ka makakakuha ng mga views and subscribers okay so mahaba na tong video na to so I hope I hope you like this and I hope may nakuha kayong value and kung gustuhan nyo tong videos na to you just subscribe okay subscribe kayo sa channel ko and um yun I do I will do other videos about YouTube since I've been using this to promote my website and also I have videos about graphic design and online freelancing tutorials so um, if you like that you subscribe and huwag niyong kalimutan yung uh, notification bell para ma ano kayo para ma notify kayo so again I hope uh, this encourage you to create great content and discourage you from asking sub or sub or kahit yung VLCS um, again uh, YouTube wants you to have active subscribers okay so with this again this is Rene from Freelancer Philippines and see you at the next video